Okay, we're going to start into a little bit of Eric Johnson style pentatonics with um, one of his basic pentatonic licks. I mean, he would just use a basic pentatonic scale like this. But what he likes to do is he likes to break things up in odd numbers a lot. Um, his, what he actually does is he uses odd numbers and even numbers and combines them and then he gets them in this big rolling style that creates basically his sound when he's doing these rapid pentatonics. So what we're going to do is we're going to first work on a phrase of taking this normal pentatonic shape and we're going to break it up into fives. So we're going to have something like this. Now, what's going to be the, before I do this, the most important thing here to look at, uh, besides the, the combination of fives, is the picking. That's something when I see a lot of magazines or videos break down Eric Johnson's style. They don't talk about his uh, picking, they'll talk about his balance, how his hand bounces, but they don't actually talk about the picking articulation itself. He uses a lot of economy picking, which is what really creates that smooth rolling sound he gets. You can't get it through alternate picking alone. So it's a combination of alternate and economy picking. So you'll see that in action right here on this first one. This works, those alter, economy picking works really good for, um, you know, even, I mean, odd number of groupings. So we'll have this. We're going to have a downstroke at the 15, then an upstroke, then a downstroke on the 15th on the second string, upstroke on the 12 on the second string, then a downstroke on the 14 here. Then you're going to start a new group of five starting and set up on the first string on the second string. And what he does here is where he does his economy picking. Instead of going with an upstroke here, then having an awkward picking sequence going through that five, he makes sure that each one is picked the same way by this last one being a downstroke, but also this coming right into another upstroke, another downstroke, so it's down, down. And he lets his hand kind of just bounce across the strings to start the next phrase. So I'll play two of them in a row. You'll see down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay? So as he goes across, when he gets down to this one, he does the same thing. Another down, down into the first one of and he does a roll. He does a lot of rolling with his third finger. Down, so down. This is the last note of the second group of five. Then down, up, down, up, down. Then going into the last group, down, up, down, up, down. So we have. Off the speed, we'll be. All right, the next one is uh, groups of sixes. When he plays sixes, a lot of times he does it as purely legato. Not purely legato, he'll pick the first note on every string, but he basically does like this. We'll use the same pentatonic shape, and we go down, pull, down, pull, down, pull. And then he'll start another group of six. He's very big with sequences. He takes a pattern and then starts on the next string or the next note down on the scale. So we'll have... Now you can pick this with all down strokes or um, sometimes I think it's better to pick up, up, down. So you're basically always picking in the direction of the string that you're going to be going in. So you can go up, up, down, up, up, down. All right, so let's go move on to number three. It's going to be kind of a combination of those two exercises. Well, we said before, he combines rhythmic groupings. And this was going to be a lot of shifting going on. This was just very um, close to his style. So we're going to start here. And this, this wide, wide uh, fingering here that's going to kind of encompass two pentatonic shapes. And we're going to do our first group of five. It's not going to be like the group of five that we did first. A lot of it's going to be on one string 
uh, the last note follow coming on the second string. So we're going to have down on the 12, up on 15, down on 12, up on 10, and then down on 13 on the second string. So we have, that's our first group of five. Then we get into that pattern that we did before, where we have down, up, down, up, down. So we have, so together we have, and then we continue this with a different group of five that has a position shift in it. We have down, up, down, up, down. So all together. All right, then we have the same five shape right here. And then again on the next string, starting on the next, just following the scale pattern, the scale fingers, following the key. So, so far, all of our fives are this. And then we're going to end it with two groups of six done in legato. So we have after this, uh, this one, we have, which is just pick, I do an upstroke, pull off, upstroke, pull off, downstroke, pull off, shift over to here, four string, upstroke, pull off, upstroke, pull off, up, downstroke, pull off, and then end it with the octave he does a lot. So we have all together. So the rhythm group, group of six just kind of speeds up the ending a little bit. So we have And the last lick is going to combine fours, fives, and sixes. And it's a pretty simple lick. We have, we'll start on the top note right here, the E. Back in this, we're back in that form now. And we're going to start with an upstroke, then a downstroke, pull, down. So we have, that's a four. One, two, three, four. The so four across three strings. Then that sets us up with a downstroke here where we can do, start a downstroke into this and do our group of five. Down, up, down, up. So we have up, down, pull, down, down, up, down, up, down. Then we do that group of four again here, come to the third string with an upstroke. Up, 14, pull off to 12. So we have, sorry. And then you end up with a downstroke, roll into roll into a um, a downstroke, and do the do the uh, six string legato lick. I mean six note legato lick. So we have okay. So take these licks and take them across all the ones that are in one position, take them to all the pentatonic positions, and just, it's, there are little licks that you can put into your playing that will kind of give you a quick uh, sound of Eric Johnson. So uh, I'm going to do more Eric Johnson licks um, on our, his open position arpeggios, and um, if you have any kind of style, guitarist styles you would like to learn, uh, send me a request at guitarlessons365.com. Thanks.